Беларусь, был с КСД-2, и потом КСД-2. КСД у него был чек. Визуальный и плюс транспарант у нас с вами. Визуальный, потому что, кроме того, у вас есть возможность мониторировать по ЛЭД. Это операция, если вы знаете, наш шаг 13, это окончательный. Потом мы идем к степ 13, DC-1, финальный лик чек, 5 минут. И вот это будет более чем через минуту. There should not be any increase more than two millimeters. Got him? Then we go, then we perform U card seven, that is a transition to autonomous power. Check the pressure, space suit pressure, bottle, O2 bottle pressure, then we... Power to autonomous and activate pump and ventilator pressure the transition uh, transmitter primary trans transmitter then push the talk button yeah, then you will have to deactivate two heat exchanger on the EVA support panel. Then work with the electrical and vehicles, and BSS is to be in the O2 closed position. Once the O2 was prevented, therefore it is required to close O2. Yeah, we'll be reporting. Right, correct. Then, before, after the fluid umbilical the mating, you will press, you will call down the pressure values and if everything okay, you, you will be helping each other. You did it last time, and then we'll go to opening the EVH. EVH. This is a view from the International Space Station as the or orbiting complex is just making its way over the northern Pacific Ocean. This is an, a look from an altitude of 190 nautical miles, or 218 statute miles, as it's continuing on a southeasterly track through orbital day. It'll uh, continue on that track, tra crossing just over the southern tip of South America. On board, as you can hear, the uh, on board team continuing to work closely with their ground ground team counterparts as they're discussing the preparations and procedures for the upcoming spacewalk. Performing, yeah. It's the middle of the afternoon for the Expedition 18 crew of Commander Mike Fink, Yuri Lonchikov, and Sandy Magnus. It's the 146th day in space for Fink and Lonchikov, who arrived on a Soyuz spacecraft in the fall, and the 112th day in space for Sandy Magnus, who arrived on a space shuttle and will be returning on STS-119, the uh, next planned space shuttle mission. This is a look at that crew with Magnus, of course, in the middle, and Commander Fink at the far left and Lonchikov at the right. They'll continue with spacewalk preparations today while their uh, management team is uh, here on the ground continuing to make a final review of the procedures and plans for that spacewalk. They'll be uh, making a final decision on that EVA uh, expected today. The spacewalk plan for Tuesday, March 10th. Our NASA coverage will begin at 11 a.m. Central Time and the spacewalk itself expected to commence at about 11.20 a.m. Central Time as the hatches open on the pier's docking compartment. Ingress SO, that is, close the EVFH, check the time, call. This is a look at the current position of the space station. Again, uh, the orb orbiting complex performing well, making its way over the uh, Pacific Ocean. Here in the flight control room, the Orbit 2 team duty, uh, Orbit 2 team is on duty, monitoring the vehicle systems and supporting the crew. This is a look at